and Coach Mark Stoops becomes the first coach in UK history to not only take his team to five bowl games, but also five bowl games in a row. So congratulations to Coach Stoops for those landmarks. At this point, we will turn it over to Coach for an opening statement, and then we will have questions. Please use the raised hand feature in order to uh, be called upon. Coach Stoops. Sure. Thanks, Tony. Uh, sorry to keep you all waiting a, a little bit. Been been a little busy around here this afternoon, but uh, we're, we're excited and honored to accept that invitation to the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. Uh, we had a really good experience the last time we were there, uh, with the exception of the outcome of the game. We hope to play better this go around. Uh, we've played good the past two bowl games, so hopefully we can keep that streak going. Uh, but uh, looking forward to, to playing a really good NC State team. Uh, I know Dave Dorn uh, very well for a long time. He does a, a, a very good job and uh, has his team playing really well down the stretch. I believe they won their last four and are, are in, uh, they're eight and three. So very good football team and uh, excited about the opportunity and getting back to Florida for another bowl game. Uh, hopefully we'll have some good weather and I'm sure our players will be excited about that. All right, first question is coming from Josh Moore. Hey, Mark. Uh, Hi, Josh. And I guess, uh, just starting, do you know who, who's available and kind of how that situation is going to play out? Or are those guys, are there still guys that are kind of debating or is everybody going to be able to go uh, player-wise? Oh, no, yeah, we're good. We've been practicing. We've uh, just had a team function here today. We, we took the whole whole team for an outing to play some games and eat some pizza and wings and have some fun at Malibu Jacks for a couple hours. But uh, we've had two good practices the past two days. We're at 100%. Um, so the, the guys are all back and, and uh, out there practicing and working hard and having some fun. I guess I should have been more clear. I guess there is anybody off the now. Well, I just said, Josh, we're at 100%, so that means that nobody opted out, right? I didn't say 99. I mean, I guess, I guess from the last game till now, we're, you know, everybody's here as far as I know. So, uh, yeah, we've had some good practices. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next is Michael Bennett. Michael? Mark, uh, yeah, congrats as well. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to lean on the guys that we have. Uh, Coach Bo, Coach Coach Morrow, you know, Coach Morrow will be – he's kind of handling the offense right now. We can, we'll activate some of our analysts. We're able to do that. Mark Perry, um, you know, has all the qualifications. He does a great job. And so Mark will be coaching the quarterbacks and handling that and helping with game planning. Uh, same J Josh Estes Wall will be activated and be on the field coaching. He's been with us for a while and, and uh, does quite a bit of our – analytics and our self-scout and all those things. So uh, those guys will get activated. And, and my man, Coach Morrow, will be out there at, at the head of the controllers. But I'm going to have to be in that room a little more than I normally am. So I'll be, I'll be in there helping him. John Hale? Hey, Mark. Is, is Coach Wolford uh, with the team now and helping Coach already? And also just kind of what's the update on the running back coaching position here? Yeah, Coach Wolford is not here. I did not feel that was right um, to, to bring him in at this point and have our offensive line experience, three different offensive line coaches in one year. Um, you know, that wasn't the right thing to do. And so, uh, you know, they, they it's I just want a fresh start after the new year uh, with the new staff. And with the running back position, I feel good, uh, very good uh, about where it's headed and uh, um, no hurry on that. Larry Hawk. Yeah. Mark, I have two things. One, I wanted to ask you about how the bowl process worked this year, how much different it was as far as when you actually found out and knew where you were going. But I've got to ask you now, I'm assuming for the first time since you've been here, there won't be any questions after the bowl game about getting the ball to the tight end and Vince is going to be calling plays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. If you would have seen our two practices, the first two bowl practices, you'd think it was just a, a seven on seven with the tight ends and the in the quarterbacks. And you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, he's definitely working on getting his, his tight ends to football, that's for sure. Um, and uh, what was the what was the other part of that question there? Just about how much different I mean, I know some oh. years in the past 
Yeah. Even those several days in advance yeah. where you were going. How did that work this year? Yeah, I learned last year just to hold tight until it's official. You know, and so uh, I didn't even, you know, get ahead of myself at all. I just kind of sat back and uh, – the first part of our practices when our players came back, we just worked on ourselves. We just worked on getting better fundamentally, um, getting out there, having some fun, running around, playing fast, and they did that. Um, they, I gave them today off. We're game planning right now uh, for NC State, and we'll have two good practices the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, and I'll cut them loose, and I'll bring them back on the 27th. Steve Farmer? Hey, Coach, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I'm taking a chance here because I know you don't like talking about yourself, but uh, it has to mean something. I mean, all the years of uh, coaches and football that's been going on here to go to five bowl games, five straight bowl games, what does that mean to you? Uh, I'm, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of the you know past and current coaches uh, and past and current players. They, they've invested a lot in this program. Uh, I do feel like we've come a long way. Uh, we, we have uh, a ways to go still um, that, uh, you know, we embrace that challenge and, uh, you know, appreciate it. But, um, you know, always kind of just trying to stay in the moment. And, and I'm, I'm excited. Just I, I think it's time. You know, obviously I, I hated making those, dis, you know, changes because you want to be successful in, in, in my close personal relationship. But I just think for the program, not, not at anything against – past coaches or any individual, but I think for myself and, um, you know, with uh, this opportunity to kind of hit the reboot, uh, it's exciting for me uh, to, to, to move the program. You know, hopefully, you know, I've been here eight years going on nine, and hopefully it'll be another eight or nine. So um, I think it's an exciting time and, and really, um, you know, again, just like Mitch said in an earlier press conference, really focused on the future, not so much looking back on the past. but. Uh, you know, I think you always do have to keep things in perspective and be grateful uh, for where you're at and, and, you know, where we came from and, again, where we're headed. Nick Roush? Mark, you did start this journey in Jacksonville. Uh, just what's it like to kind of have guys on the team who remember that game and, and have something really to play for in their final game? Kind of get a bit of yeah, Landon and I were talking about that at our team function. Um, you know, with those guys, with uh, must have been Landon's class then. Obviously, he was he and I were talking about it, but starting it there and, and ending it there for him. Um, but uh, again, hopefully, we'll play better. I, I uh, you always remember the outcome in those games. So, um, you know, we want it to be a real positive experience for our players. Um, but every time we compete, we want to do things right and look right and play good. So. Um, you know, there'll be a balance there with, um, you know, our players enjoying themselves and being rewarded, uh, but also being prepared to play the game. You kind of alluded to it, but it is, are you going to have to do kind of more fun things at home now that you can't do that for an extended amount of time down there? Well, you, you do. We're here for a short amount of time as well. I, I, I wanted to get them out of here after the season. They deserve that break. They have not seen their families for a long time. Um, I, I do appreciate our players when they came back because they had that smile on their faces again. I think it was really good for them mentally and physically uh, to, to get some time off. They needed that. And, uh, and then they came back and were very excited to be back. And um, you know it was good to see them running around the practice field, playing extremely fast and enjoying themselves and having fun. So. You know, we're trying to, um, just like a day like today, but, but it's all going to be, you know, fairly compressed as well. Josh Moore? Mark, uh, you guys opened as a three-point favorite against a team that's just ranked top 25, and, you know, on a four-game win streak. I mean, just what to say about the, I guess, how you guys are perceived and, 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 and you know, the strength that, you know, Maybe others see in your team that maybe you know it doesn't reflect in the record necessarily. Well, I, I don't know. I don't generally ever talk about things of that nature. I don't really want to talk specifically about a point spread, but I, I will say, you know, talking specifically about our team, I think most people recognize, um, you know, the the uh, challenge of a all SEC schedule. Um, again, I mean, it's. 
I mean, it's reflective in what people think, the expert thinks, and whatever, you know, and, and uh, we'll say those guys are, are generally pretty sharp. Um, they don't build those big buildings for no reason. So, um, but I think, you know, also I mentioned it. I mean, there's only, I think it's six teams in our league with a better record than us. And, and so, I mean, over half our league is in the same spot we're in. And again, we're, we're, we all kind of, um, you saw it all the way up until the last week. I mean, it's just uh, uh, challenging. And that's why you see some different scores and you see everybody beating up on each other. And, uh, you know, so it is what it is. And we're looking forward to this next opportunity. I know, I know Dave Dorn. Uh, I, I know he's a really good coach and, uh, and good friend of mine. And, and uh, his team's playing really well. Don Hale. What's your relationship with Tim Beck like, and, and what about his offense is, is dangerous to defend? Yeah, uh, Tim and I are really good friends. I haven't I haven't talked to him in a while, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, Tim and I go back to our high school days. I mean, we went to just like you know Vince and I and Coach Buffano and Courtney. We're all Youngstown Cardinal Mooney products, and um, you know Tim is a competitor. He's he's a very good coach. I remember back in the days. I was a little older than him, but uh, you know, back when he was a head high school coach in the state of Texas and the job that he did, he's been around and he's very experienced and very good coach. Um, they're, they're very good this year, just what I, I saw briefly uh, watching them. Um, you know, he does a really good job. They're, they're a tempo team. They're playing very fast. They use a lot of zone schemes, uh, just like our offense. We perhaps use more gap schemes. Um, they run probably four or five gap schemes a game. Um, we probably a little more than that, um, but then he'll he'll play action you and he'll max it up when he feels like he's getting pressure and and run two you know three man routes and getting the ball down the field and Tim does a very good job he's a very good coach. Mark Story. Mark, can you speak up? I'm having a hard time hearing you. I don't know, Mark. You tell me. I don't. Re I mean, shoot. I think I've been. I'm like. I'm not as bad as Coach Morrow, but I've definitely been hitting the head a lot of times as well. So it's hard for me to go back that far. <laughs> you tell me, man. I. 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 I've just. I had a hard enough time this year. You know, I'm pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question is Jeff Drummond. Jeff, go ahead, please. Hey, Mark, you kind of touched on it earlier about having a hunch it might be NC State and getting that little bit of a head start with them. You, you just talked about their offense a little bit. What, what shows up on the defensive tape? Yeah, defensive tape, they're a 3 3 5 team. So. Those teams can bring pressure a lot of different ways. So they'll try to penetrate and bring, uh, you know, they could bring four, they could stay with three, they could bring four, bring five, bring six. So, uh, you know, a lot of different movements um, up front. And uh, Tony Gibson's their defense coordinator, has been an experienced guy, been around a while. And, uh, you know, he does a really good job. And Dave's background is in defense as well. So uh, definitely presents some problems. John Long. Hey, Mark, also congratulations. Normally, these bowl games are as much a reward for the fans as they are for the uh, players and the team. Uh, what do you want to tell somebody who's maybe thinking about going down there? I mean, it's been a tough year for the fans, but I think by and large, they've stuck with you through, through thick and thin. Uh, what would you like to tell somebody who's maybe on the fence thinking about coming down and seeing you? Well, I appreciate it. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I. I, I you know, it's everybody's decision whether to go or not go right now and with traveling and with COVID and all those things. So um, that's really each to each individual. But I know, you know, it's it's nice for myself and certainly these young men, their families, and for the fans who want to go. Uh, this is the last time these guys are going to strap it up for, for the blue and white. And uh, we greatly appreciate them. And uh, the, these seniors have done an awful lot. <laughs> And uh, you know, for maybe some of the juniors, it's their last game, or some of the seniors that uh, they're done. Um, we can't thank them enough. I tell you, there's some quality young men here, um, 
and uh, you look at the bowl games and you look at the, the, the part of the program in the five, four or five years that they've been a part of this program, they've done an awful lot of good things and they've sacrificed a lot and they certainly sacrificed a great deal this year. And so, um, you know, it, it, it's really hard to describe uh, the, the, you know, mentally and physically how challenging it was on the players. Um, they, they've sacrificed a lot, they've done a lot, and, uh, you know, we greatly appreciate it. Nick Ralph, Reed Cohen's uh, Rams just lost the Jets. Any uh, buyer's remorse? <laughs> no, not at all. I I'm a lot of serious questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nick. I, I did see right before I came in here, in between the two press conferences, that they were down and but driving. So obviously they didn't get that in, huh? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah, thanks. John Hale. Mark, you mentioned juniors, in plural, who might have uh, be their last game. We, we talk about Darian, obviously, a, a lot in the draft conversation. But do you have other juniors who have submitted their names or whatever to get feedback from the draft? Well, we, we, we have. I'm allowed five, and I've submitted five. Uh, I anticipate, you know, everybody coming back. Darian has not made up his mind yet, and we're still gathering information uh, for him. But uh, I just use that word. Don't, be, don't, don't read too much into that, John. Larry Hoff. Mark, well, you said you have 100% of your guys. That kind of continues the trend that you've not had guys opt out from a bowl game. And especially this year, I would have thought maybe some might for the reasons you said. And that must make you feel pretty proud. And what's the secret to having guys want to go ahead and stay with you and go through this? I mean, yeah, uh, thanks. I, I think it does say a lot about the players. I think at first it says – you know, it speaks to them individually and collectively that, that we have the right players here for us, for the University of Kentucky. And I think they, um, you know, I think they answer to each other. You've heard me talk about it many times that I want to be player-led team. I want them leading the right way. And again, we, we know that, that maybe uh, we came up short in certain areas this year, but we also really proud of the good things that they've done for many years. And we have strong leadership and strong uh, players at the top. And um, I think that's what it's, it's speaking to, is their commitment to each other. And so uh, it does. It does make me proud because it's very easy. You know and I know you watch it right now and you see what these young men have been through and you see the challenge of this season. Very easy uh, to punt. Very easy, easy to, to, to give in. and. Uh, I just think it's, it talks a lot about them and the character that they have and, and the responsibility that they feel for each other. Uh, next is John Clay. Uh, Mark Cutch was talking at uh, bowl games about uh, the importance of getting those extra practices before a bowl game. Is that even more important this year when you didn't have as many practice practices as normal? You didn't have a full spring practice. You didn't have this summer program and so forth, to get those extra practices, is that even more helpful this year? I, I don't believe so, John, this year, you know, quite honestly, because, you know, even though the, the, the season was shorter, remember, we had that long practice time in the summer. And so we, you know, we feel like we've had a lot of practices. I, I will agree, I, I guess, contradict myself in one area. There are some freshmen and some young guys that, yes, it's always important to give them snaps and give them reps. And so even with our first couple practices of this bowl season, you're seeing them. And I always make sure we get all the young guys going. And um, so, yes, um, you know, in certain ways, but I guess knowing that we won't have as many practices. The season went longer. Uh, they got to go home for a little bit. Um, it's a bit condensed this year, so we wouldn't have as many. Early on, when I was, you know, really trying to build this program, um, you know, and, and, and I admitted it, it probably, you know, hurt us in the outcome of the first couple bowl games. But I felt like it was the right thing to do to build the program, was to really grind on them and push them uh, during that uh, first couple bowls that we went to because we needed it. We just needed to get better for the long run. Um, I don't quite feel that way this year. So I think there's a balance. There's all you're always trying to improve, 
but I think they've been through a lot, and I just want them to have a positive experience. And our final question for Coach Stoops will be from Josh Moore. Mark, uh, your, what was the communication like with the SEC coming up, leading up to this? I assume I probably mentioned it was a, a lot of that, but and you know, and just with the league, it seemed like they were pretty good about filling all the bowls too. With you know, it seemed like it, and everybody playing, I mean, and then that's not something every conference can say. Well, I, I think. Um, the communication, there was really none. I mean, I go through Mitch or, or Mark Hill, um, our deputy AD and liaison on the football. But, uh, you know, I, I, I stay out of it. I mean, again, I, I just wait until they tell me who we're playing. You know, we had enough work to do just getting back into it, just to work on ourselves. I like when they get back playing fastball, which means good against good. We don't have to worry about scheming anybody. Just play the game, play fast, get them moving around uh, with football movements again. And I liked what I saw. I liked. I felt like the guys were refreshed. I felt like they were faster. I felt like we were throwing the ball better, catching it, and just moving around better. So we had enough to do with just worrying about ourselves. Um, we have time now to zero in on, on NC State and to get game plan ready for them. Um, so. That's it. And then uh, what was the other part of that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it just – it's its what our league is. You know, we're not – you better man up in this league. And uh, that's just the truth. You know, there's, there's nobody running, nobody hiding. Um, you know, you have to be competitive. Um, and everybody in your organization better be competitive because it's, it's tough. And, uh, you know, I think it just, you know, doesn't surprise me uh, because what, what we've been through and what other schools in this league have been through and the, the, the schedule um, definitely is very taxing. And to see us have so many teams uh, willing to go to bowl games just says a lot about uh, this conference. Okay, Coach Suits, thank you for your time.